Welcome to Accessible Gourmet. Today we're making Eggs Benedict. To make the English muffins, we're going to take two cups of whole milk and three tablespoons of honey and heat this over the stove until the temperature reaches 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep mixing this together, making sure that the milk doesn't boil because you don't want this to scald. Once it comes to temperature, take it off the heat and stir in two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. Set this aside to let the yeast bloom. While the yeast is blooming, take four tablespoons of melted unsalted butter and mix in one whole egg. In the bowl of a stand mixer, Pour in five cups of bread flour and a half teaspoon of salt, attach your dough hook, and mix this together. With the mixer running, pour in your melted butter, and then your milk and yeast. You want to let this mix for about four minutes, scraping down the sides in between, just to make sure nothing is sticking to the sides and that everything is well incorporated. While your dough is mixing, oil a bowl because this is going to be a very, very sticky dough. Place your dough inside your oil bowl, cover and let rest for one hour or until it's doubled in size. Once your dough is rested, turn it out on a lightly floured surface. You don't want to add too much flour to this because we want to keep it light and airy and pillowy. Divide this dough into 16 pieces. So cut the dough in half, cut those halves in halves, and etc. and so on until you get 16 pieces. Into a ball and then flatten to a disc. Place these onto a parchment lined baking sheet that you've covered in cornmeal. Sprinkle the tops of the dough with cornmeal, cover and let rest for another hour. Once the dough is rested and has doubled in size, you want to preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Heat up a cast iron or a griddle on the stove and cook these for two minutes on each side. They're not gonna be fully cooked inside, but we're gonna finish baking them in the oven. We just want those nice brown marks. Once everything is griddled, place them all on a baking sheet and bake them for 10 to 15 minutes or until the internal temperature reaches 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove them from the oven, place them on a baking rack and cool them completely. Now let's poach the eggs. This is just something I like to do for the eggs so that you don't get those stringy white parts. Crack an egg into a strainer, swirl it around until a lot of the loose white falls into the bowl below. Don't throw away the egg whites because you can use those for egg white omelets. We'll have more egg whites later when we make the hollandaise. Put each egg into their individual ramekin and set them aside. I forgot to show you where I acidulated the water with some vinegar, but you're gonna use a tablespoon of vinegar, drop in your eggs, and poach them for three to five minutes, whatever doneness you'd like. So they're done, take them out with a slide spoon, dab them on a paper towel, and put them on a paper towel plate. Now let's move on to the hollandaise sauce. I'm forewarning you, this takes a lot of butter, but it's brunch, and it should be decadent and delicious, so you might as well treat yourself. You're gonna take 
two large egg yolks and put them in a blender along with one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a little bit of cayenne. If you don't like cayenne, you can go ahead and leave that out, but you're gonna start blending this. Then you're gonna take 16 tablespoons of unsalted butter and melt it on the stove. You want this butter hot so it emulsifies and cooks the egg yolks, but not so hot that it scrambles your egg yolks. So you wanna drizzle it in slowly. Keep blending this for about four minutes or until your sauce has turned a pale yellow. You notice that your sauce is separating. There are a couple of things that you can do. You can stop the blender for 30 seconds and let it rest and then turn the blender back on. If that doesn't work, add two or three teaspoons of hot water. If that doesn't work, you can add another egg yolk. To assemble the Eggs Benedict, you're gonna take one of your homemade English muffins, split it in half and toast it. Layer on some Canadian bacon, or if you prefer some cooked spinach, place your perfectly poached eggs on top, and then drizzle all of that hollandaise sauce as much as you want, which is the beauty of cooking at home, on top. I like to garnish with little chives because it adds a little color and gives a tiny little flavor of onion, which is never a bad thing, and finish off with a lot of ground cracked pepper. And there you have it, Eggs Benedict. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, click the like button. If you loved it, subscribe for new videos every week. Until next time, happy cooking.